Anisa Khan is a career banker that started his career with Grinleys on to Standard Charter and many other fine institutions, including at the helm of IDLC and 11 years at the helm of Mutual Trust Bank Limited. So let's get started. What you had was again, you were standing on the detritus of war in 71. So came this old National Bank of Pakistan, which transformed into Shonali Bank. And then Habib Bank became Ogroni Bank. And then the United Bank became Janata Bank. Then started the first privatization, early 80s. Uh, with that, the first generation of banks were licensed, like National Bank, Islamic Bank, Bangladesh Limited, United Commercial Bank Limited. Then came the second generation of banks, which is the Dhaka Bank, Southeast Bank, Dutch Bangla Bank, and so on. Then came the third generation banks, uh, which is Mutual Trust Bank, where I was CEO, as you all know, for 11 years. Uh, along with it came Premier Bank, along with it came Bank Asia, and so on. So that brings you to 61 banks. That is a lot of banks. Now, let's paint the picture of non-banking financial. The first non-banking financial institution was IPDC of Bank. After that, a number of non-banking financial institutions started to be licensed, including Lanka Mangla Finance, Uttara Finance, uh, United uh, Finance, and so on. Before they used to be known all as leasing companies. And then you move on to the insurance sector. When the insurance sector started, it was again on the ruins. So you had like 40 plus Pakistani companies. So they were all amalgamated into three corporations. Later on, the government came out with the Shadran Bima Corporation and everything went, all the general insurance went under Shadran Bima and all the other life insurance went under Jibun Bima. That's then found its way into what it is today still. 